Hi, welcome back to my channel. Oh, did you recognize what I am wearing today and why am I wearing it? Actually, I have a special guest today. Guess who? You're right, my guest today is Master Saitama. He is busy killing mosquitoes outside at the moment and since he left his suit here, I tried to wear it for the meantime. In our previous lesson, we learned about the effectiveness of using appropriate facial expressions in reading and speaking in front of other people. If you fail to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I upload here in my channel. For starters, let's have a spelling. I want you now to get a pen and paper. I'll give you 20 seconds to prepare yourself. Okay, spelling number one. Spell the word poach. Poach means cook by simmering in a small amount of liquid. Just like our example there, the chef is poaching an egg. Yummy. 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 Number two. Spell the word request request means politely or formally ask for just like our examples there all of them are requesting for something spelling number three spell the word banish banish means forbid abolish or get rid of something unwanted Want to send someone away to another country or to another place as their official punishment. Here are our examples. All of them are trying to banish something away. Another example we have here are the Ghostbusters. They are trying to banish the ghost who's destroying the city. Four, spell the word Pawn. Pawn means deposit, an object, with a pawn broker, as security for money lent. Our example here is Charlie Chaplin. He is working in a pawn shop. Very classic, isn't it? Still, very funny, right? And then last, number five, spell the word vanish. Vanish means disappear suddenly and completely. There are our examples. All of them are vanishing. And our best example here is Tetsuya Kuroko from the anime Kuroko's Basketball. See his amazing vanishing drive? Now let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our spelling. Done checking, then let's move on. Now, let's talk about our special guest, Master Saitama. What can you say about him? Yes, your thoughts are correct. He is like the superman of the anime world. He's a superhuman with super strength and ultra speed. He can send monsters to afterlife with just a single punch. One punch! Did you 
ever think what will happen if Son Goku and Saitama fight each other? Who do you think will win? Comment your answer down below. Now for our today's lesson. Remember this? Yes, this is an iceberg. You saw this in our first lesson. If you fail to watch the video of our first lesson, I put its link in the description box below. Iceberg is an example of a compound word, like the words I mentioned before when we are talking about Master Saitama. The words Superman, Superhuman, and Afterlife. Iceberg is made out of two words that were joined together. Ice which means the solid state of water, plus berg which means mountain of glacier, is equals to iceberg the floating ice that has separated from glacier. Compound words are formed when two or more words are put together to form a new word with a new meaning. They can function as different parts of speech which can dictate what form the compound takes on. Compound words are so prevalent in the English language. We don't think much about them until it's time to write them then we often have to stop and think about how they're put together. Compound words can be written in three ways. First, open compounds, which are spelled as two words. Example, ice cream. Second, closed compounds. These are words that are joined together to form a single word. Example, doorknob. And third, hyphenated compounds. These are two words joined by a high pen example long term sometimes more than two words can form a compound example mother-in-law oh genus huh my clothes ah uh, wait uh, guys, here are other examples of compounds. I'll read them while I'll talk to Genos, okay?
Sorry about that. He got mad when he saw me wearing Master Saitama's costume. <laughs> anyway, let's have a quick activity. I'll read some questions to you, then you choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. Which word is a compound word? A. Popcorn B. Sheep C. Pumpkin or letter D. Babies If your answer is A. Popcorn, then you are correct! Which word is not a compound word? A. Doghouse B. Icebox C. Bookcase or letter D. Name If your answer is D. Name then you are correct! Choose the compound word A. Sand B. Doghouse C. Black Dog or letter D. Below If your answer is B. Doghouse then you are correct! Four. Which of the following words is a compound word? A. Interjective B. Because C. Ladybird or letter D. Jumper If your answer is C. Ladybird, then you are correct! By the way, a uh, ladybird is a type of ladybug. Okay, last number five. In the sentence, did you see the beautiful rainbow yesterday? Which one is a compound word? A. Beautiful. B. Rainbow. C. Yesterday. Or letter D. C. If your answer is B, rainbow, then you are correct! So again, remember that compound words are formed when two or more words are put together to form a new word with a new meaning. And that there are three types of compounds, open compounds, closed compounds, and hyphenated compounds. Don't you ever forget that, okay? So for me to see if you really learned in our today's lesson, let's have a sit work. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you. So I will only give you three minutes to do this. So you're going to choose the letter of the compound word with the correct spelling. Again, correct spelling. Just write the letter. No need to copy and answer. You may start.
Okay, time's up. So now let's check our work. And here is the answer key for our seat work. All set. I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. Ah, uh, wait. What? Oh, oh, what happened to me? Ah, uh, that Genos. Well, anyway, I hope that you will never forget what you've learned today about compound words. And please comment down below the score that you got in our seat work earlier. And again, to help me be encouraged in making videos like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!